All right. So we're just sitting here. We don't really know how we're going to start, but she always starts. So three, two, one. Nikki L. Hey guys. So we thought it would be cool. We just had a date day. We went to go see the Joker, which was oh my pretty gosh. sad. I was so depressed. <laughs> I know. It was pretty sad. But this isn't about the Joker. No. This is a quick video about pros and cons of, I guess, pros and cons of being in a age gap relationship. And we we are uh, getting ready to pick up the kids from school. So we just said, hey, and let's take Isla to dance. Let's talk to your on friends. On this rainy Wednesday. Yeah. And spice yeah up but their this love. isn't a CNN talk. I want to no. be clear. Let's start with the negative because I always like end it on the positive. So. What would you say a negative, a con is, from your standpoint, being married to a younger person? Well, I mean, the, the the number one, the only one that that I would concern myself with with having an age gap is um, I don't want to go, I don't want to leave her. I want to I want to be around when she grows old. So uh, that's the that's the, the the most dangerous and the most negative one that I would find. I think about that a lot, and it inspires me to stay in shape. It inspires me to to work out and stretch. And I am in better. Sh I mean, I feel like I'm in better shape than when I was playing football. I'm just older. I agree. I think that's that that's pretty scary. And I think also too just. Um, with kids involved, it can be scary too because I want Chris to be able to walk Isla and Ira down the aisle if they choose to get married. Not Ira. I'd rather be up front with him. Oh, true. <laughs> but if he wants to walk down the aisle, if it's in style, then I'll do that for yeah, him too. Yeah, but we, we want Daddy at their wedding. I want to grow old with him, so... Uh, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. yeah. We we want that uh, desperately, and she inspires me. Yeah, I always tell Chris like, you better not die on me because I already know, ain't no other man gonna love you how you love me how you love me. I love that Chris. He literally worships the ground I walk on. So, no question. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. Can we kiss in front of the camera. <laughs> Keep it oh. PG. Don't put no talk. Okay. Anyway, no, you got a brown nose. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, that's a that's a con. My makeup always is hard kissing him without him having a brown nose or a brown mouth and face. But uh, I've been uh, eating healthier. She has gotten me off my candy, which is my weakness. Another con that I would say is just automatically people thinking uh, he's a sugar daddy or that I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. There you go. But I'm not a Amen, gold digger. Sister. <laughs> but yeah, that's a con. What else is a con to being married to you? Oh my gosh. I... Do you feel insecure about it ever? Do you? No, that it's important. You got, you got to. I would the best advice I would give anyone out there that's in a relationship. You got to be confident in yourself. You got to mm -hmm. know. That you belong there. I mean, if you're gone this far and you're ready to pop the question, I sure hope that there's no doubt in your mind that you're good enough for this person. Mm -hmm. We are good enough for each other. We love each other. We compliment each other. Another con would be when people ask if the check is together. Oh, yeah. Or is this your granddaughter? Oh, the, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> You know? But you know what? What's perfect for me? I have a pretty good sense of humor, and I really don't have a problem making fun of myself. So if you are not like that, I would definitely reconsider or think twice about it. Because if you can't make fun of yourself, and if you can't laugh at yourself, then uh, this might not be for you. Because you will get attacked. You yeah. will, even when it's not meant to be an attack, mm -hmm. because it's like, a, it's a cringeworthy when they say, oh, is this your granddaughter? I said, nope. I mean, I get yeah. asked if I'm the nanny, so. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I would hire you as a nanny, though. You'd be great. You're a great mom. Thanks, sweetie. Because <laughs> I'd be, I'd be. But <laughs> <laughs> she would get me in trouble if she was my nanny, so, but. I would do anything. If you were a single man. If I was a single man. 
Come on now, Chris. Keep okay. it PG. All right, keep it PG. All right, you know that. And uh, oh, I know a con, but this is like a funny con. It's nothing serious. A con is our music genre is so different. Yeah, and that's. Um, I like that. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. If, if, I, if I knew how and to. Chris likes country and. I like I like a little bit of everything. She's actually got me uh, to like. Um, let's see, Nicki Minaj. I like some of Nicki's. Uh, he likes songs Cardi that he B. feels that you feel like you can relate to. Drake, I got yeah. enemies. Got um, a lot of enemies. Yeah, yeah. That's his shit. That's my favorite <laughs> song, Drake. I love that. You you wrote that for me. Um, but I yeah, a lot of enemies. Okay, so then the pros of being with the older huh. person slash younger person. for the person. long list. One is that I keep him flashy, fresh to death. Like everybody notice, notice his change in his style. When she st started talking about my my dress, I still never in, didn't click. But just like the more she talked about it, as I'm clicking now. I'm feeling even better. I feel I love. Look at this. All dressing our little camo together. Got our black outfit. She just. Dress me. I just got a, a, a yeah, smaller size. Just celebrated going from XL to L. Then, when we first met, he was a two XL. Yeah. At least he was buying that. Yeah. Which didn't fit. So yeah. But yeah, now I like skin tight, showing my two pack. <laughs> I'm gonna have my four pack and then my six pack. My hygiene is important to me. Yeah. So he never stinks, but his cologne, like. Yeah, that, people compliment his cologne. What's another? That that was the kind of of uh, what, what was fun because I never I, I stopped as being a football player, and you can see through Russell Wilson, his before and after picks. Maybe she can throw those in there with uh, Tom Brady. A lot of guys how they dress before their ladies were in their life, and then how they were after. She uh, woke me up and uh, styled me out, and now people are mentioning, "Man, what do you what do you got? He's walking around a little bouts in his." Yeah, they say he, he has swag. So that's a pro. Like, I keep him hip. And a pro would also be that I learned a lot from him. Like, business-wise, uh, he's Insane. taught me so, so much. And the same vice versa. Uh, you know, she's she's taught me how to um, not focus just on business. We have goals. We have big goals. But she reminds me that we need to enjoy life. But uh, I, I'm in a very uh, emotional, very type A person. So, uh, and she has to ring me in sometimes and remind me, hey, let's go on this trip. Like this last trip to Mexico, some things popped up and I, and I said, well, maybe we were meant not to go. She said, no, we need to go. And we had a great time. It was perfect. Yeah. Well, I think there's way more pros though. Than yeah. Pros. Well, the, the other pro for me and, uh, is... And and I wouldn't be able to do it with an older woman, but I have the two. I already have two great older daughters, but I have uh, two young, incredible children that I love that I share with Nikki. And uh, I would not be able to do that if we didn't have an age gap. And uh, I've always wanted a son. And even to the detriment, I mean, you could have got a adopted a kid, right? Yeah. Well. That's true, and there's and there's some many great ones, mm -hmm. but and when you're confident in yourself, you want an extension of yourself. And though if and my adopted child would be my child, there's nothing like having my little man that I'm going to watch grow up and be a big pro football player, and, um, and that's my dream. And if he doesn't, that's cool too. But I got my son. I got three wonderful, beautiful daughters that I'm thrilled. I, I'm I'm living my dream. I'm living the great life. So uh, that part, there is, it, it's all pros, all pros in that. I would say another pro would be being married to someone older. He's learned from his experiences. So I don't have to have, like, we don't have that many arguments. I don't know. I mean, what? like. It's not to say that people who are in age gaps don't have arguments. They do, but I don't know. Like his his experiences are a lot longer, so it's taught him 
more. Well, and a perfect, I think. yeah, the perfect example is, and look, we just had a little date, uh, and when I'm when I was younger, I didn't have time to. Um, I was always working so hard to get to the point where I, I am today. And I didn't take the time to, to to have a date day. I've never I've never been on a date day until I met Nikki, and that is the one of the. Or until we had kids, it was the kids. That yeah, us. but here it's a rainy day. We went to see a movie, and I'll give you an example of of how my age has helped a relationship. And uh, I didn't get to hear it, so Nikki will have to tell you. But when uh, it was raining, I didn't want her it was, to get it's pouring. pouring and y'all know my leave out is not set up for this kind of no. weather. No, and and Look I know it. what happens, and I know what happens to her mood if her would be a f Ill, Ill affected by the the, the rain. Which as the uh, older gentleman and and my wise mind said, I'm going to run out. I'll get the car. You wait right here. Then when I pulled up, there wasn't an awning, so I said, Stop. I went and pulled out my uh, umbrella, jumped out, and then all of a sudden, Nikki was smiling, laughing. Talk she had, well, you tell them what the girls were saying. There was like three girls outside having a cigarette break, and they were just like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a guy to do that for me. And It's not to say that younger men don't do no, it. No, but, but they don't always think about it. Older men usually know better, you know. But, uh, no, I don't know, because Sydney's boyfriend, he yeah, always yeah. opens yeah, the he door. Does. He, it just depends on how you're raised and brought up, honestly. I, I was not particularly like that, a door opener. I mean, as far as car doors and things like that. But I was brought up to be polite, always. The more that I've um, been around, the more I appreciate the nice things, the loving things, and what I wanted to do for her. So... It took a little bit of learning for me. Yeah. They also said that, oh my gosh, he's not pulling up here just to pick her up. He's not pulling out the umbrella just for her. And they say that too? No. Or did I just imagine just that? Added that? Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. What else would you say a pro is? I would say I get to give him different perspectives, like from a younger woman's standpoint, which helps him a lot with his girls, oh, dealing with his girls. Yeah, but that's more of a um, specific to us because not um, yeah, not everybody. not everybody has, and not all older men. I guess this is a con not for us per se, but not all older men want to settle down, which is why a lot of older men choose to be with younger girls because they're not ready to settle down. You know? Yeah, no, and they they don't typically. They were like, "Why did I start all over?" And I don't feel like I did because I think I spent all my time working. I don't think I did enough family. And now that I've learned that family really needs to be first. Mm -hmm. I know you got to make the money to, uh, to, to take care of the family, but family has to be first. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm spending so much time. Uh, Chris always says he feels like he was given a second chance by God because, um, just to make things right he wanted to just he feel like god gave him a second chance with being a better dad a better dad a better husband yeah and um honestly and uh we were just talking about this the other night i, I never thought i was i was ever gonna fall in love and get married and uh, but we've been we've been having some really cool deep thoughts yeah. like deep deep talks turning off the tv i would recommend that for you guys yeah at night and just talk to your spouse and that's what like no phones but we still have, well, we'll but, have the phones yeah. out because we'll laugh at like memes and, and I we'll share each other down. those things yeah we'll share yeah. look at this joke and because mm -hmm. when you're watching the same television show you just kind of tuned in and which we do a lot but we just said you know what let's focus on each other let's do some things oh and we have different political views or like but we can still agree to disagree that's that's what everybody was like Shocked. We never we never talk about our politics, mm -hmm. but like, how can you be so different and but yet still love each other? And when you respect someone and love mm -hmm. someone so much, they're allowed. I mean, she has her own mind. I, and we, he has his. We always talk about we're not going to control each other. Mm -hmm. We're not going to we're not going to do that. And uh, what I, what's cute about it is that she'll make fun of me. And again, if you don't know how to laugh at yourself, she'll uh, 
what do you call my uh, uncle? Is it my uncle or my cousin? What do you call? I'm like get your cousin. Yeah, get your cousin. He's he's texting you right now. He wants some more money. I get a little. I get a lot of texts from from. Uh, Guess who his cousin is? Yeah. Mm, yeah. You about to lose mad cool points because it's sad to say that people can't respect people for their political views. My dad always taught us that you should never ask someone. You can ask them what's their views on things, but never ask them who they're voting for and why. Like. He said, that's like your religion. That's something that's sacred to you. That's your beliefs. And people cross don't know how to respect that, like those boundaries. And we have our different views and we're able to agree to disagree. That's a, I wouldn't say it's a con though. I would say it's cool. It's like neutral. Yeah. I, I, I don't find it as a con at all. I, I find no. it as, a, as it spices it up. We laugh at each other and, and mm -hmm. uh, she broadens my perspective on a lot of things and actually gets me to see things um i don't know if we've ever um would alter our political views but it doesn't matter and we just respect each other mm -hmm. i mean that's that's it if you don't respect your uh your spouse or and that's with any age group yeah it doesn't really yeah. matter you know mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter with the age i'm trying to think of another con or pro yeah we go to concerts a lot. Chris doesn't dance with me, but we go. <laughs> yeah, and, we just uh, sit down and just like whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, you get, you got to be open minded. You got to be uh, not set in your ways. You got to be willing to try new things. Well, no, she would take me to concerts I wouldn't normally see, but I'm really impressed with Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. she threw on an incredible. We've been to two. Yeah, two. Yeah, I, I love watching her. What other babe? Let's see. I think that's about it. Uh... Um, the, um, sometimes, um, if if you don't want to get, um, if you're if you're if what pe other people think bothers you, don't do oh, it. Oh yeah, that's a con. I mean, like everybody's gonna have their perspectives, whether you're in a same age relationship, age gap relationship, whatever. Like they're, I mean, people. And what others think, we're in the double. Whatever that, whatever that would be, an age and race difference, mm -hmm. which we found out to be from uh, YouTube. There's a lot of others like yeah, us. Yeah. But uh, there's really very few times that we'll walk into a restaurant and they just don't stop and from staring at us. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and you can tell whether it's a genuine smile or one like a disgust smile. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then, but Nikki, she'll 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 give it right back at him too. It's cute, and she won't play. Period. Yeah. I get the question the most. How do how did I introduce Chris to my family? Mm -hmm. And this is super simple and short. You cannot be scared or stuck on the age difference or the race because some people say they're scared about the race difference. Introduce him like you would any other person who was your age. If, you if know, you they say, honor. yeah, if they said, I just met the most incredible man and I want to. Right. Is that, or I have the most incredible man, but he's older. Like what sounds better? So just introduce him as you would a, a person who is your age and then go from there and see how they react. But yeah, if you're living on your own, doing everything yourself, why does it matter your family's opinion? Like, like, like you, if you give that negative perspective first that's what people tend to hang on the negative so always just just do you just do you and present be it like, the best you you know just yeah everybody gets so stuck and hung up on the age it only sucks because when it's two white people in an age gap i'm so sorry to say it but it's never a big deal well, the woman is never looked look at, at uh, yeah what is it who uh, what was his baldwin name? yeah uh, Alex Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, Alan Baldwin and his wife. They have five kids and oh, they have a huge with under age under five gap. years. Yeah. yeah, they have bigger. Yeah, and, bigger. And, and and like she doesn't get flack or he doesn't get flack, but the minute, the minute you got a sister in the picture, <laughs> ooh, how the story changes. That's what it is. Yeah, it's more. Every everybody's more caught up on the race thing. And the more that you take care of yourself, the more you'll feel better about the relationship because if you just start just kind of letting yourself go and you see this your fine lady in your life who's still in her prime you know take care of yourself make sure that you're 
uh, hanging. We we work out together. Yeah, I think people get more so caught up on the age thing, and honestly, besides the obvious, a scary thing, like who knows? I could die first. Like you just never know. So um, you just gotta live in the now, YOLO. Yes. Period. I highly recommend that. It, it, we've seen a tremendous difference. Uh, even though we have a, a great relationship, just the more communication. I think that's it, right? Yeah, it's other than everybody. don't ever go get a henna in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Our setup right now is so ghetto. Look at it. I'm going to put us on blast. We just got it sitting on a package. But I do, I'm, I'm wearing Hold the on, car. Hold on, don't, don't talk about the, the cameras. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have touched our ghetto setup. I just messed it all up. But it was able. To, what I love about our ghetto setup. Is it I worked was, out because it's raining. It horribly. worked out because it's raining, but it, it it gave me to to get my my You're good, good side, side. <laughs> and I get to put my arm on the steering wheel. I'm I'm feeling really cool right now. Behind my, my hearts, uh, <laughs> new Mercedes. I just get my. This is it. I just get that little smile and just, hey, how are you? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just do it together? Because we're going we're gonna to have to make a couple trips anyway. Uh, I'm not getting my hair wet. Yeah, right. Okay. Had you parked in a garage, it's different. I don't know. I didn't think I Here. Pop the trunk, will you? Okay, guys, we're out. Chris is taking the packages up.